Tonight, doubleheader on ESPN starting at 7.30 with the Suns up against the Heat in the battle of two number one seeds in their conferences. And then at 10 p.m., it is the Blazers taking on the Jazz. Countdown proceeds it all at 7 p.m. Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Jalen Rose, I was watching Kyrie Irving put up 50, and then I started flipping back and forth. Darius Garland was on league pass, putting up 41 in a win over the Pacers. Got a little weird at the end. Your namesake, Jalen Smith, made a really bad foul. But... What did you think about this This foul right here bothered me. Come on, Jalen Smith, it's a tie game. But what do you think about Garland's performance? He eventually sunk the free throws, got himself over 40. Uh, since Jalen Smith has been to Indiana, committed a bonehead play like that, and already has gotten a technical and ejected from the game. Come on, young fella. Come on, young fella. I know the people in your life are telling you what I'm about to say. You got great potential. You got a nice body. You have great strength and an opportunity to be a player in this league. You got a soft touch from three. You know, get it together. It takes time for a young player to get it together. I think he's going to get it together. But for the Cavs, man, losing Jared Allen hurts their uh, advancement in the standings. But I love what I'm seeing from Garland and Mobley. And I believe as they continue to ascend, like I said, Sexton now becomes a piece that they use in order to propel them to the top of the conference, hopefully. See, now, I would think you've got Garland playing so well, bring Sexton back. You've got the backcourt of the future in Cleveland, but you think Garland's playing so well that makes Sexton a trade piece. I do because it's only one ball, and Sexton plays best with it, and Garland shows he can be an all-star, get you in 40 and 10-plus with it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.